There are two ways to hide files and folders on your Mac, and the best part is you don't have to download anything. Let's say that I want to hide this file and this folder on my desktop. I'm going to open a terminal window and type ch flags hidden and then drag the file onto the terminal window. Notice how the path to the file appears. Hit enter and that file is gone. Do the same thing for the folder and voila, it's gone too. Let's double check by opening desktop and finder and yep, they're not in here either. Now the thing is, the file and the folder are still visible if you know how to find them. Back in my terminal, all I have to do is go to my desktop and type ls, then there is the supposedly hidden file and folder. So this method will probably be okay for hiding things from people who don't know how to find them, but in my opinion, there's a slightly better way. Let's unhide the file and folder first with the no hidden option, and as you can see, they reappear where we left them. This time, let's rename the file by putting a dot in the beginning, but Mac won't actually let us do that. So instead, let's use terminal to rename the file like this, and poof, the file is gone. Repeat for the folder, and the same thing happens. The file and folder are not in Finder, which is great, and also if I type ls, the file and folder don't show up either. But there's just one problem. If I type ls-a, I see the hidden file and folder along with some other important hidden system files and folders. Also, there's a keyboard shortcut that will show hidden files and folders. Typing command shift dot will instantly show any file or folder that has been hidden. Both of these methods are fine for hiding things from people who aren't tech savvy, but rather than hiding files in plain sight, the best method is to encrypt them with a password, which is exactly what I show you how to do in this video right here.